Right, so this is what I found on my oil pump in my um, Pontiac G8 GT 6 liter. So, uh, it's a, which is the same in all LS series, got the same style of uh, oil pump. This is the internal relief uh, valve right here, this assembly. And it go. this is a piston that goes up inside there. And you can see, if I can get the picture just right, there's some scarring around the top of that. Yeah, right there. And also, I don't know if we'll be able to see it in, with camera or not. Uh, can't probably get enough light. Yeah. Uh, I can't get enough light, but there's some similar scarring around the top of that chamber. So, you know, there's got some metal or trash in there, which this engine has had a uh, at least one lifter uh, failure, and I believe a trunnion failure before I got it as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, so it's had some debris that's gone through the engine. Um, cylinders are good, but they're, you know, some of the oil passages and things have shown signs of wear. Uh, this is the oil uh, pump uh, stator and, and um, stator and uh, rotor. So where's the other where's the rotor at? Oh, there it is. And you can see, you know, there's wearing, pretty excessive wearing on that, which is where most of the work happens with the oil, because it moves uh, in between these two as they, uh, as it pumps it around. So it's driven off the cam. So it's a progressive cavity style pump. It just moves like that, kind of eccentrically through that. Um, but anyway, so, you know, at, it's got 136,000 miles on this motor. Uh, so, uh, you know, I didn't show you the spring, but there's a spring that, uh, that goes up in there underneath that piston. And uh, that's the stock spring. In the mailing, you can get... Uh, Two, two spring ratings or at least multiple ones anyway uh, to change adjust that pressure because this is what it controls the the oil pressure inside the engine as far as the highest set point for it because uh, as it reaches that then it overcomes the spring and starts bypassing pressure all right well uh, you know piece of good maintenance would be to probably um, change that like I should have done whenever I had the uh, last lifter failure, but live and learn.